Welcome to part two of the CT70 project. We got it in working order and running, but now we have to make it more legal with the electrical issues. I'm hoping that it's gonna be an easy fix, but because I just said that, that means I jinxed myself. It's probably gonna be a lot harder than I think. So in the first episode with this bike, I got a lot of the exterior bits taken care of so that it's actually running and riding. So I replaced things like the tires that were in desperate need, the carburetor obviously needed to be replaced in order for it to actually run and got it to that point. But even though it's riding right now, it's not exactly legal because there are no electronics that are working right now. I have no headlight, I have no taillight, no blinkers, nothing. The only thing that I have is the horn and the key and that's pretty much it. It does have all of the components for that. It has a 12 volt conversion, it has a 12 volt battery, and appears to have the entire wiring harness. So I'm hoping that it's a simple fix in that I just need to plug a couple things in and actually get it working. But in either case, I think it's probably best to pull all of that out and clean it up at the same time because it looks like it's been touched one too many times. All right, so as you can hear, it obviously turns on the key ignition, everything like that works, and it is getting spark, but no headlight, no tail light, no brake light. All we have is, and that's it. So a quick look under the hood here. As you can tell, we have all the components for 12 volt conversion. We have a 12 volt battery aftermarket bracket and underneath we have a little bit of spaghetti going to it. What I wanna do is hook up a voltmeter to it and see what it's currently at and then when I kick it over, see if it's getting more voltage, more like 13, 14 volts that you would typically see and just knowing that it's connected to the stator, the alternator and that it's getting charged while the bike is running. Okay, so it's just over 12, 12.8. So that's good. That means we got a healthy battery and I would expect no other. It's brand new. 15 volts. Cool. So it's actually getting 15 volts. Nice healthy voltage there. That's good. So at least that means that the battery is connected to the engine and the stator properly. So we need to figure out what's going on after that. No better way to do that than rip out all the interior wiring. Yay. 12 seconds later. What in the hell just happened here? I have to show you what is going on because I think I found my problem. This was stuck on with some 3M tape underneath the battery tray. And when I pulled off the tape, the entire back of this just peeled off with it. And look at all this. Oh my God. It was completely full of, I don't even know what this is. Has anyone ever seen this before? This is nuts. Uh. Well, this is completely indecipherable. It was completely hacked together to the point where I can't even pull it out from the exit hole right there because the wiring that just goes up there is, basically it goes into two parts here and then just expands indefinitely. This is just absolutely destroyed. Not to mention that my rectifier is completely gone. So because I have had terrible experiences with Frankenstein wiring in past projects, I definitely don't wanna go down that route this time. So thankfully, CT70s have a lot of good support and I think I can find a universal 12 volt harness that I can just replace the entire thing and just throw this in the garbage where it needs to be. And here we are two weeks later and that's exactly what I did, plus a lot more. And we'll focus on the more later on, maybe in another video, but let's stick with the wiring here, which is a universal wiring harness, a universal 12 volt from Trail Buddy. I'll be honest, at first I was very intimidated by putting in an entire new wiring harness because electrical is not exactly my expertise, but thankfully there's a lot of good resources. Number one, just this wiring harness is put together really nicely. It's basically as plug and play as you can expect, especially for CT7. That plus I got a lot of help from another YouTube channel that I came across which is Mini Bike Mike's Garage. He does a lot of CT70 stuff and most importantly a very lengthy but very extensive 
video on a universal wiring harness from Trail Buddy. He goes through every single piece of wire and puts it together on his CT70, shows you what goes where, what to use, when to use it. It was super helpful. I watched that video probably like five times. So as a result, I'm not gonna go through what I did here specifically. I would highly recommend that you take a look at his video because it was so helpful to me. But I will mention there were a few things that I had to come across when putting this together and what I did to fix it. Here you can see that everything is pretty plug and play and color coordinated as well, which is really, really nice. But when I did that initially and plugged everything in and turned the key on, there was a couple of problems. I didn't have a tail light at all and I didn't have a headlight. So scratched my head at that for a little bit, but figured out that the brown wire that brown wire is the running light which connects up here to the dashboard so it's illuminated and to the tail light so it's just on when you have the key on needs 12 volts so one of the brown wires needs to be plugged into a black wire as you can see back here this is a brown wire and a black wire both coming from the wiring harness so what I had to do was I just cut the black wire and turned it from a female connection into a male connection and then just plug the brown wire back into itself into the wiring harness to this black one and that fixed that problem. And this next thing that I discovered was not really a problem but just confusing so allow me to give you some clarification. This is the CDI and it has this type of plug which has five pins in it even though it's set up for six in this square configuration. Now that plugs into this piece pretty easy to tell on the wiring harness but in some cases at least in my case there are a couple extra connections that come out of the engine, which is that. And that is the exact same size. You could easily plug the CDI into this, but this is not the CDI connection. This is actually just a gear position indicator. Do not plug the CDI into this. It won't work. You'll probably figure that out pretty quickly. Now, this one, I'm not using it because I don't have a gear position indicator. I do have a neutral indicator light. So what I did was, you can probably see right there, there is not a metal piece sticking out. I pulled that wire, that's the one for neutral, and that's the only one that I need. So I pulled that out and actually plugged that into the wiring harness, and the other ones would just remain unplugged. Other than those small things, this was pretty painless. It was actually really nice to get a full clean harness with things that plugged into others, and it was very clear, very concise, and it just makes it that much simpler. It was so much better than wiring up that ruckus. But now let's finish up the job and get the battery actually in there and turn the bike on and see that everything works. So as you can see, everything works. Although you might've noticed the blinkers are still a little bit of an issue. As you can see, or maybe that you can't see. I don't think the camera is picking it up because it's very faint, but it will kind of flicker and both of them flicker at the same time. I'm probably explaining this wrong, but I know that the issue lies with the dash and it's connecting both sides of the system. And I think it's getting too much current, something like that, but the issue will be fixed with a diode, basically like a one-way valve, but for electronics. I've ordered a diode so I can plug that into the system. But besides that, I have a perfectly working harness that is clean and concise and will allow me to ride this on the road legally. So thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Oh, 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 oh,